Hello kawamat, sa video lesson na ito, i-continue natin ang discussion natin about loss of logarithm. So, here, you're going to express the logarithm in terms of a given value and then you can evaluate the logarithms. So, in this video lesson, here's the learning competency that you need to master. Illustrate the loss of logarithms. Okay, so remember that we have three laws of logarithm. The first one is the uh, logarithm of a product. It says that logarithm xy with base b is equal to log x with base b plus log of y with base b. And then the logarithm of quotient that x, uh, let's say log x over y with base b is equal to, kapag in-expand natin, that is log x with base b minus log of y with base b. And then, uh, logarithm of a power, log x raised to n with base b is equal to n times log x with base b. So, using the three laws of logarithm, so express each logarithm in terms of log 2 and log 5. Given the logarithm of 10, so we are going to express the given uh, in terms of logarithm of 2 and logarithm of 5. So, paano natin gagawin yan? So, kailan makita natin yung log 2 and log 5. So, using the uh, loss of logarithm, so unang natin gagawin is uh, to find the factors of 10 na kailangan nandun yung 2 and 5. So, meron naman, right? And that is 2 and 5. So, kapag minultiply natin yung 2 and 5, that is 10. So, we can express as logarithm of 2 times 5. Since product na siya, we're going to expand it using the law number 1, which is the logarithm of a product. So, kapag law of a product, so anong gagawin kapag in-expand? We're going to add the logarithm. So, logarithm of 2 plus logarithm of 5. So, ganun lang. Next, given, we have logarithm of 2 over 125. So, paano natin express at makikita yung logarithm of 2 and logarithm of 5 dyan? Since uh, sa given natin, this is uh, division. So, we're going to apply the logarithm of a quotient. So, kapag in-apply natin yon anong operation kapag in-expand? That is subtraction. So, therefore, log 2 minus log of 125. So, dito sa unang expression, nandiyan na, makikita natin yung log 2. Pero dito sa pangalawang expression, paano natin makikita yung log 5? So, therefore, yung 125 express natin as, that is lo log 5 cubed because that is 5 times 5, 25 times 5, that is, uh, wait, Okay, so since 5 times 5 is 25 times 5, 125, so we can express 125 as 5 cubed. So therefore, uh, since meron tayo ito, log 5 na yan, makikita natin, but we have an exponent here. So anong gagamitin natin? Using the logarithm of a power, so ilagay natin si 3 sa unahan ng logarithm natin. So magiging log 2 minus, so lipat natin yung exponent dun sa unahan, that is 3 times log of 5. So, this will be the final answer. Next, evaluate each logarithm. So, for example, logarithm of 128 with base 2 minus log of 8 with base 2. So, paano natin gagawin? Since that is a uh, difference, so we need to what? Divide. Okay, we I divide natin. So, logarithm of 128 divide 8. Then, what is the quotient of that? 128 divide 8, that is 16. So, paano natin makukuha to? So, yung 16 express natin na kailangan maging pareha sila ng base natin na 2. And that is 2 raised to 4. And 2 raised to 4 is equal to 16. Since same na sila using the property on the, our previous topic, so, kapag pareho yung nandito, kung ano yung exponent, that is our answer. So, therefore, the answer is 4. Next. Logarithm of 4 with base 6 plus log 54 with base 6. 
Okay, so anong gagawin? Since that is addition, applying the logarithm of the product. So, i-multiply natin. So, log 4 times 54 with base 6 is equal to log 216 with base 6. So, paano natin makukuha yung logarithm of 216 with base 6? So, kapag may scientific calculator, isang pindutan lang yan, may sagot na agad, di ba? But, you see, uh, if you're going to compute it manually like this, so, paano natin gagawin? So, kailangan ma-express natin yung 216 na same dito sa base natin na 6. So, what will be the answer? Okay, so, therefore, in 216 kasi we can express as 6 cube. Kasi pag minultiply natin ng tatlong beses yung 6, 6 times 6, that is 36 times 6, 216. So, therefore, uh, since same na sila nito, so the answer is 3. Okay, using the property. Okay, next. If log 2 is equal to A, and log 3 is equal to B, and log 5 is equal to C, express each in terms of A, B, and C only. Okay, so halimbawa, logarithm of 60 with base 10. So, this is a common logarithm. So, paano natin makikita yung log 2, log 3, log 5? Okay, so paano? So, una muna, of course, magta-try ka ngayon. So, try muna na, ang gagawin nyo, itry nyo muna yung tatlong given. So, i-multiply mo sila. 2 times 3 times 5. So, 2 times 6, 6 times 5, 30. Kulang ka pa para maging 60 yan, times 2. So, dito makikita mo. So, ito possible to. So, since possible na siya, so therefore, ayusin na lang natin. So, dapat, uh, ili, pag, ayan, magkasunod na yung parehos na, parehong uh, factors. So, yun muna ang gagawin mo. So, kunin mo yung mga ko, yung factors nito na kailangan nandun yung 2, 3, and 5. So, para madali mo na lang gamitin yung loss of logarithm. So, we can express logarithm of 60 as log 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And applying the logarithm of a product, so we can write it log, log 2 plus log 2 plus log 3 plus log of 5. So, sabi dun sa given, Logarithm of 2 with base 10 is equal to A. So, i-represent natin to as A. Ang log 3 with base 10 represent as B is equal to B. And log 5 with base 10 is equal to C. So, therefore, that is A plus A plus B plus C. So, uh, based on the problem. No? So, therefore, A plus A, that is 2A plus B plus C. So, that will be the answer. Next. Another, with the same uh, given, uh, same problem rather. So, log 360 with base 10. So, same process. Oh, magaganyan din kayo, kagaya sa una unang example. So, that is 360 is 2 times 2. Times 2, that is 8 times 3. No? That is 24. And times uh, 3, 24 times 3, that is... 72 times 5, that is 360. So, therefore, uh, same format dun sa example na sa nauna ng halimbawa. So, ang gagawin lang natin using the logarithm of a product. So, maging ganyan. And apply nyo lang yung sinasabi dun sa pro uh, problem sa taas. So, log of 2 is A plus log of 2 another, that is 3. So, meron tayong log 2 na tatlo and dalawang log of 3. So, kunin natin yung equivalent niyan. So, A plus A plus A plus B plus B plus C. That is 3A plus 2B plus C. Okay. So, it's your time to check if you really understood this less video lesson. So, una yung gagawin. Sagutan nyo muna sa kanya i-play para malaman nyo kung tama yung sagot nyo. So, for evaluate the following logarithm for number 1, log 128 with base 2 plus log 32 with base 2. Next, log 64 with base 4 minus log 3 with base 3. 
Number 3, log 9 with base 3 plus log 81 with base 3 minus log 27 with base 3. Number 4, log 1 over 8 with base 2 minus log 27 with base 3 plus log 30, uh, 2 times log 32 with base 2. And number 5, 2 times logarithm 32 with base 2 plus log 256 with base 4 plus 3 times log 81 times 3. So, wag niyong gamitan muna ng scientific calculator kasi sa scientific calculator, isang pindutan lang yan, may sagot na. Try to answer it manually. Sa kanyo lang i-check sa calculator kung tama yung sagot niyo. Okay, so ito yung sagot. So, congratulations kung nakuha yung mga tamang sagot. Okay, pwede niyo i-share yung score niyo sa comment section ng video lesson na to. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.